Welcome back gamers, uh, this is the Bearded Gamer and we're going to jump into, you know it, the front. And today is going to be moving day and I have already done some off camera work. So I've already destroyed everything in the house and leaving this stuff up for now just to show you guys that it's the same game but we're moving. So I've already destroyed all my electrical up here. Down here. All of my furnaces, tables. Everything's destroyed. We are moving to a better location. So I found while trying to find resources and stuff. This hill gets really annoying. And there's not a lot of resources over here like lead and copper. Which you need for electrical. So, I'm going to abandon this base. And the way I'm going to do that is... I'm going to go over here and destroy this beacon. I'm not sure if you can have two of those. And then I'm going to destroy our big beacon. And everything's just going to sit here and fall apart. Level two. All right, now you see right here, these are not in auto repair range, so they'll just break down 26.11 points every hour. So less than the material I got on me. These guys are all just gonna deteriorate and go away. Did pick my car up. You can see my other beacon right here. Put that at the home location. All right, it's gonna fall apart. So this new base that I found actually has. Ooh, what did I leave here? Oh yeah, take those. Actually has some resources around it, so it's gonna make it a lot easier for progressing in the game. This spot was fine as a starter location, but I think we've outgrown it. I'm gonna jump in here and swim around this rock. Oh, it looks like they fixed the swimming a little bit. Nope, still can't sprint while you're underwater. I haven't gone this way before. I was running the long way, but I have to cross the river. All right, I'll be back when I get over there. Okay, I'm almost over here. Let's go. Okay, so you can see that I've got a lot of iron nodes here. Freeze, oh, out of stamina. Trees. There's actually a path right here under this bridge that goes to the other side. So that'll make it easy to get around this mountain without trying to run all the way around it. Level 25. That was fast. That right there's the new house. So it's just made out of wood because I didn't go around collecting a lot of stone. I just cleared some of the trees out. Why am I leveling up so fast? Just for running? Okay. So I'm right here by the water source. I've got piles down there that are uh, sand. Oh, my inventory is full. Let's drop that clay, I think. Yeah, clay. Okay, so sand and clay is what I'm going to get there. But here's the new place. I put two floors and then the attic. I am going to still keep the power in the attic. 
And then down here I put some crates just to make it where it's easier to have our stuff in here. All right, now we're going to work on the tables. I'm going to put the tables around this part right here. And see what we come up with. So I'm going to gather, gather the materials. I'm going to make a crafting table. I need 20 wood. Let's see if I got that. Might have that somewhere in here. This is all the stuff I brought. Oh, there's my car. This is all the stuff I brought from the other place. Mm, no more wood. Oh, there's 200. Nice. Okay. Let's make the crafting table. And I think we'll actually... I'll come back in two minutes when that's done. All right, here we go. 15 seconds. I did turn up my harvesting um, in the server settings. I did turn up the harvesting rate because everything I watched said it's going to get really difficult to find all this stuff. And I want to be able to keep making content. So we're actually going to put this guy. This is our main table. So we're going to put it right here. Let's see. Let's just go in order. I need more wood. And iron. We'll just put these stones in here and that. All right, let's go get some wood. Okay, I'm back. We've got some wood in here now, and I picked up all the iron that I had. I put the lead in there too. Those look so close to each other that it's hard to differentiate between them. So let's see, we need the weapons bench, grinding table, gear bench, medical table. Uh, I think I have rubber. Let me go check for the rubber. It's 20. Might be all I have. Oh, there's five. Some more. Oh, there's wood in there, too. Oh, no, I missed that the first time. Oh, there's 25. Okay. Put the rubber in there. Metal processor. Foraging table. Structure bench. Uh, machine parts and machine parts. Thought I had some machine parts. Let me see if I can find them real quick. There's 10. There's nine. And that's it. Let's see if that's enough. Might be enough. We might be able to get all these tables made right now. It's not down there. Vehicle factory. And pyrolyzer. Oh, I do have clay. I could make in lime. Did I have clay and lime? I don't know. Now I gotta go look. There's four lime. There's clay. Lime, lime. Put the lime in the coconut. Fifteen. There's more clay. I'll go through and sort all this when I'm not on camera. That way it doesn't 
It's super boring for you guys. Clay. Oh, I need 25, and I don't have that. A weapons bench. I think we're just gonna start here. Right between the windows. What goes in the weapons bench? Uh, rubber, leather, and resin. And some lead. Okay. I'm gonna go sort that a little bit and I'll come back when all of these are done. Uh, let's make sure I got the spots for them. I don't. Did any of them take rope? None of them took rope. Oh, I didn't show you guys. I already have my beacon out here. And I've already had to upgrade it to level two because I put it back too far and half my house was not being repaired. So right now the line is like to right here. So I'm gonna leave it at level two for a, a little while. Worry about getting the house situated. And once the house is situated, we will worry about getting our trap out there built again. These take forever to build. Okay, I'll be back. All right, these are still going, but I've got two more. I'm gonna put the leather in there, hide. Uh, put a little bit more rope. Okay, grinding table. Okay, we had a little crash. I'm not sure what happened. The game crashed and had an error report. So we got it started back up. I'm not sure where it's going to take us back to because it doesn't save right away. So I was trying to put the grinding table down. Let's see. And it looks like it took me back to when I was sorting. So let's just sort some of this out. And I will hopefully not crash again. Um, what do I want to put in here? The stones and clay type material in that one. Foods in there. This one's a couple. Put the rope in there. Oh, I had some food on me still. Well, it's water, not food, but stuff that went in that box. So we will take those out. Uh, that was a weapon. We'll leave. Weapons and blueprints and structures in here. All right. Um, we'll leave all the or in here as well as the carbon powder silicone resin tape tape can go on our crafting one we need the poly in here okay let's go see if any of our tables are done because I took them away grinding table let's try this again And then the gear bench. Grab 
grinding table. I think I had anything to put in there. Oh. We will put the tape in there. Ether shards, talent books. E. What else do we got? I uh, gotta keep those, keep that. I don't think we need clay in there. Oh, this floor did not go together straight. Okay, I'm not, I don't care. We'll worry about it when we upgrade the stone. And I'm not sure if the stone goes different directions or not. Medical table. Medical table there. Not sticking out. Good. What's this table? Weapons bench. Okay, that's the first one I placed. Gunpowder goes in there. Other goes in there. Grinding table. It'll take me a second to get used to it again. Nope, that's a chemist table. Alright, I'll come back when these two are done. Alright, we've just got the metal processing table done. That's where we'll put some of these things. We've got one more going. That's the structures table. So I've got the weapons bench, the grinding table, the gear bench, the medical table, the metal processor, structure. I need that one and that one. Uh, and our drill. Do the drill as well. A couple furnaces. Chemist bench. I think I canceled that one. And creature lower. Structures bench had 40 seconds left. I know this fertilizer. Oh, it's the chemist bench. That's where all those go. Got it. And I think up here we will make the furnaces right here across this side. And then we'll do the electrical on that side. Because I think the other furnaces I could fit two of the bigger ones in here. Actually, don't want that there. Okay. Use structure one right there in the corner. That's going to be stone. I'll actually just go move all these blueprints up here. Wrong ones. Medical table. I'll take those two. The blueprints for structures and structures we've built. I want me know where they're at. And then the gear bench, we'll put these blueprints in here and then the weapons bench we will put 
weapons, blueprints, medical table. <laughs> A minute till that's done. That's going to go outside. All right, I'll come back when those are done. All right, our two vehicle ones are done, or the pyrolyzer and the vehicle factory. So we're going to take these outside. I suppose I could have built it big enough to have it in here, but... Put them over here. I actually want the, the yellow pole in the back. Does it look like it's sitting flat on the ground? Still not sitting flat on the ground. Okay. I'll put this guy up. I put it up like this because it's easier to see what's going to be in your face. We're going to put this guy there. And that's not on the ground either. That's weird. I don't know. And this side's in the ground. All right. I did bring my car over here. To reclaim your car, you go up to it. As you're holding F, you can reclaim vehicle or view the vehicle. That lets you put gas and stuff in it or the storage. If you hold it and go to reclaim vehicle and then hold F after you click it, it'll put it in your inventory. And then to put it down, you just bring it out and push your left mouse and wait for it to place the vehicle. There you go. I didn't want to get in. And gas is still in there. Go see where our other tables are in crafting process. Oh, our mine's done. Let's find a place for this. Far enough away that way when I expand it's not going to be in the way there we go that's another tip if you guys ever go AFK I'm not sure if I told you this push and hold F you can view it and see what's in the inventory bar for it or you can go to the right in the oil collection. The bottom is ore collection, so... And I'm not pushing anything right now after I click the ore collection. And it'll just manually mine AFK. Push and hold F while it's mining. You can see it's picking stuff up. And push F. You can exit. And we've got the furnaces coming off now. We've got one there. We've got three more and then the chemist table. So I'll come back when those are done. All right, two of them are done. So we're going to take them upstairs if I can remember where the stairs are. Let's see if this is going to work. One there. Well, that's going to be really close. One there. I think we'll put the other two over there. I should still have plenty of room for all my electrical. Go see. Got about three or four minutes before these are done, so I'll come back then. Okay, I've got the fourth furnace up here. This is going to be my furnace room. I actually think I'm going to make another powerhouse. Like a pump station. Uh, where did I 
put structure right here. So I don't need that many. We're gonna go 12. Okay, we're gonna make a little electrical water pump house. I think right here. Uh, I want it even with my house. The only way to do that might be to go over. That in, that's in. Put the walls up. Uh, I'll just leave them normal walls. Corner, corner, and corner. Uh, I need two more roofs. I need fiber and wood. Chemist table's done. There we go. Put those in there. Two more roofs. And I should do another wall. It seems like it's taken a long time to craft stuff. I might turn that up one or two points to make it where this crafting doesn't take so long for these videos. I'll come back when those are done again. I actually had a wall on me already, so I canceled that one. Have any flooring? No. It's going to be two. One roof. Two roofs. I'm going to need. Mm, I hope a floor will fit in there. But yeah, I'll cover this with two floors. Make this our power station. That way if I do solar, I can just add on to this. like it. That's what we're going to do. Let's see. We've got all of our tables up. Got all of our supplies here. Did I miss any tables? Forging table.
Yeah, I actually missed a forging table. And the creature lore? Lure? Creature lure? I know it says creature lure, but it's actually the spawn point for the creatures when you activate your beacon. If you guys didn't watch my last video, go back and watch that. It tells you about how these work. And the creature lure we'll put out here somewhere. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Way more open field. More resources. I mean, you can see all the rock and iron and lead. And we've got the water right down there. And we don't have that big hill. So this is where we're at right here. There's actually a really big POI right here. I'll run over there and show you guys. So if you right click. Right click on a location. Push the letter you want it to be and then hit place it'll place a marker if you hit control and right click it'll take that marker away so we're gonna run over to b uh i have another b on the map oh that was a place i wanted to go look at <laughs> take that oh that was a mine and I actually do have an iron mine right here. Yeah. It's a good location. So we're coming up on this POI right here. I'm not too far from it. Hopefully the guys in here aren't very tough. And I can go in here and get some shards. So there's the POI. Yeah, it's like a little town with a boat dock and stuff. I'm gonna wait till it's daylight to go down there and fight them. Just in case there's a bunch of them and I can't see very well right now. Oh, there's another one right there. That looks like a military type one place Come on. let's see how far you got you're done all right Metal processing table. We'll put it right here. This is the foraging table, but it makes small metal components. Machine parts. I can make machine parts now. That's going to be huge. Let's take some of this stuff. Actually, let's take all of that. Iron and copper. I can make 39 of those right now. Actually, don't know if I want to make 39. Let's do 20. That way it doesn't use all my stuff. And we'll go put... A floor. Did I only make one? I think I only made one. Got so much stuff that I still gotta craft. Damage intensity. Effective skinning. The quiver for the bow. I don't know if that works on guns. We'll have to figure that out. Let's 
I think I might have slowed this down on the time it takes to craft, so I might have to speed that back up a little bit. This is way too much. All right, here it is. And the wood floor did fit up there. So this is going to be our pump house and electrical house. Might put a couple floors up there just to put the generators and stuff up top. And then when I get into solar and stuff, I can flatten that roof off and put the solar right up there. Yeah, okay. Future lure. I think that's still in the box. I forgot to grab it. There it is. So there's that yellow ring that's the spawn point. And we will put it about right. Right there. Indicators off. So right now I have A is. I need resources in here. Hundred and sixty nine hour auto repair. All right. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to work off camera and rebuild my maze for creature lure. Alright. This is home. This is going to be our permanent base location, I think. Depending what... I mean, this map is huge, so... Scroll your mouse wheel, you can scroll in and out, or zoom in and out. And it goes all the way up here. I don't know what's up there. I've never been up there. There's islands out here. So we'll explore that more once we get the vehicles going and we can get around to those places. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. I appreciate the comments I'm getting and the likes. Um, it's good to know you guys are watching this and enjoying it. If there's anything I could do to make it better, uh, let me know. If you guys did like when I had my self on the screen um, in the corner, you can let me know that as well. Just leave a comment below. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check them out. And uh, hopefully you see improvement as I'm going through as these are getting better. So I appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.